Hey guys, it's your girl Carla Gibson coming to you live from Arizona. What we're going to go over today is IULs. Um, IULs stand for Index Universal Life Accounts. This is the only financial account that is protected from market loss. You earn on the interest. Um, it is tax now, means they take a tax out of your monthly or annual investment um and then the rest grows out grows tax free and comes out tax free um so protected from lawsuits protected from market loss and it doesn't count against you if you have children your it doesn't count as income so if your children want to apply and get grants and scholarships they can still do that so we're going to look at my IUL um, mine is through Transamerica, and I'm putting $150 a month into this account. So first thing is I, we're going to scroll down. Um, last year, I moved to Arizona. I stopped working at my job there in Tennessee. I did have a 401k, so I transferred that money to my IUL. Um, and then I started continuing to put in monthly, uh, $150 a month. So as of recently, like this month, let's go down. All right, here we go. As of this month, um, after this year, at the end of this year, I have four thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars input it into the account that is including my lump sum that i put in there for my 401k plus the 150 dollars a month if you take 150 dollars times 12 you'll get 1800 that's what's happening there um so this is my policy value so like i said you input a certain amount of money they take out the taxes and then this is the value of my policy as of today so this is what I'm putting in monthly. It's going up. And this is my value of my policy today. Now, what's important is, like I said, it's protected from market loss. So when the market is down, which the market is currently down, um, I'm still earning 0.75% while everybody else is losing money. If this keeps happening until age 65 and I continue to put 150 a month, I will have $10,000 into this account. Um, I will have inputted uh, 71000 Now, obviously, the market is not going to just be down in the dumps, but that's worst case scenario um, if I needed to pull from this money. Um, and obviously, $10,000, this is, like I said, a retirement account or a family bank. Um, this is something, money that I'm putting away, not touching um, until I'm 65. This will last me until I was about um 68 obviously not you know good now on a stable time right earns about 3.5 percent right so that's the low earning again still same amount right but the difference is when i've become 65 here we go I will have had 83000 to pull out at retirement. A lot better. And I've only put in 71000 So you can see how my money increased if the market, you know, goes back up to 3.5, earning 3.5%, which, you know, it goes up and down. But the key is I won't lose any money. Now, this policy would last me until I was 86 if I started pulling from it at retirement. Which is not bad. This is the best. Well, this doesn't have a base, but on average, your market earns 7% when it's up. Uh, it could learn, earn up to 15%, but when it's up, average is 7%. Um, so this is what I put in. That's what, you know, if next year it goes up, that's what my policy value will be at. If it earns 7% continuously until I was age 65, I'll have $200,000 to pull out at retirement, which is a nice sum of money about what most people don't make in the first, you know, 
two years of a main job. So with that being said, um, this policy would last me at $200,000. Um, my policy value would actually continue to go up even after, oh, I'm sorry, at age, oh, yeah, my policy value would still continue to go up. As you see, I didn't put any more money in it. It would still go up even while I'm pulling out of it. Um, and it would last me well into my hundreds, you know. Um, my death benefit is also going up in these policies as well. So this is a great policy to have uh, as well as having a term LB policy, right? So that's putting in 150 a month. I am 27, so 150 a month is to 200 is a pretty decent size for anybody in their 20s to 30s. Um, well, when you reach 30, about 200 a month is a good minimum. Um, 40, 300, 50, 400, 60, about 500 a month, right? Or you should just have lump sums, monies transferred over. Now, there is a minimum amount I can put in each month, which is about $67. $67 is the minimum amount I can put into this account. So, like, if I fell on hard times, um, definitely wouldn't last me very long, you know, earning 0.75%. Uh, it would... It would benefit me, you know, if we were earning 3% until I was 65 and it would last me until I'm 74. So that's a little bit better um, versus like the 86 before, right? Uh, this would, this policy at the max amount of earning 7%, it would last me instead of into my hundreds until I was 86. So that's kind of the difference of you know, me putting in the minimum monthly versus um, putting in 150 a month. That's a pretty solid thing you can continue. It would last you a long time. Um, again, this is a great account to just have. It's a life insurance policy that you can pull from. Treat as a retirement account. It earns on interest. It's protected from market loss. Um, this is not an account you want to use in case of emergencies. This is an account you want to treat as a retirement account, but you'll have, you know, comfort that you'll actually have money in it to pull from. And the max I can put into this account is $250,000. So once I've inputted $250,000, that account is maxed out. All it does is earn interest on that money from that point. Um, you can have as many of these policies as you want. You can start a policy for your kid as soon as their social security number comes to your inbox, um, which is great. I have successfully helped one whole family, a wife, a husband, and their child each start accounts for themselves. So that's my proud moment. If these are accounts that you're wanting interest in, or if you have an old 401k and you're trying to move it to somewhere safe, because leaving an old 401k with the old job you no longer work at is definitely not the best idea because you don't have control over what happens to that money. So if you have an old 401k, we should definitely sit down and talk about options of what we can do with that money so that you're in control and you're benefiting from it. Um, if you have a lump sum of money you're just trying to put over, or if you're trying to start fresh, just put in, you know, a hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars a month into an account like this, so that you have something saved, and we can get you a term with living benefits. So that way, if you become critically, chronically, or terminally ill, you're not pulling from your IUL account. Um, you're pulling from that term LB policy, so that IUL account can still grow and be prosperous. We can sit down and talk about different options. I do free financial reviews and personal financial reviews. So we go over your finances. We review what you can afford. Um, so we can put you into a policy that um, you can continue to pay into even on hard times and it won't lapse so that you set yourself up for a great financial future. So if you're interested in that free financial review, um, it's 30 to a 45 minute zoom webinar we can do available comment below interested and i will reach out i will drop my email in the comments and we can comment through email and set something up today